My name's Aaron Ladd for Good Morning Mizzou. I'm out here asking Mizzou students how they feel about the Coachella Music Festival and how they feel about specifically about the new Mizzou band Hatch Nasty. This story is completely made up, but they do not know that. Little known fact, a very small band from the University of Missouri called Hatch Nasty actually made it to a smaller stage in California. How do you feel about that? That's awesome. Mizzou representing, that's awesome. I'm so excited. They actually started in Hatch the dorm in one of the practice rooms and they made it all the way to one of the small stages in Coachella. How do you feel about that? That's pretty sweet. Uh, I did not know that. That's, that's a good, uh, one of those good Cinderella stories right there. Well, the name Hatch Nasty, I don't know how I feel about the name, um, but Mizzou Pride, I'm glad that they're there representing Mizzou in California. That's really cool, yeah, it's good that they're there and representing Mizzou. Yeah, actually they've got a lot of hit songs, Make It Nasty, Nastier, a lot of things that just, it's kind of funk, they're a funk band actually. It sounds like they have a theme. Well, that's impressive, I guess it shows the school's got a lot of talent, I see a lot of music groups out of here that I really like, so. Mm. It, I, it doesn't really bother me too much. I didn't know that. I'll look into it though. You never really. They performed at the Blue Note actually, and they're coming back. They do shows here often because they're students. Okay. Um, I mean, if they come by, I'll check them out. So. Would you look into maybe looking their music up on iTunes or anything like that? Yeah, if I can find them. I actually work at Interlude Music, which is like a local. Uh, and you guys haven't heard of Hatch Nasty? No. Were they on um, the KOMU or the radio, the any radio? Yeah, they did KOMU, they did K KBIA, they did all that. And they really made it to the big time. This is another step in platform. How do you feel about that? Um, it's great that they're using all these different ways to get out and if from Mizzou and being able to use our local like resources here. That's awesome. The lead singer, Tramar Dillard, is actually working with Flo Rida and some other artists. That's his first breakthrough. How do you feel about that? I mean, I'm I'm really excited for him personally. Like, I don't know him, but I'm glad that he's out doing what he loves to do and following his dream. <laughs> no, I haven't met Tramar. Yeah, he's a Mizzou student currently. You're going to have to look out for him. Well, you know, all of my friends that I know, uh, they call themselves Hatch Nasties. Wow. So, you know, they really might be uh, groupies or something. Yeah, they have to be groupies because Tramar is a huge artist. Not a huge Flo Rida fan, but, I mean, it's better than nothing. Yeah, Tramar, Tramar is actually just working with him, trying to help him out. Tramar Dillard's, I think, a little more talented. What do you think about that? Dude, definitely. Anyone who went to Mizzou is definitely more talented than Flo Rida. Their lead singer, Tramar Dillard, has worked with Flo Rida, actually. Oh, really? That's yeah. interesting. Yeah, for sure. A lot of people are saying he's a little more talented than Flo Rida. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I can't believe you never heard of Hedge Nasty. Is this one of those Jimmy Fallon things? This is 100% one of those Jimmy Fallon things. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, Chris, how do you feel if I tell you all that story is made up and that was 100% fake? Well, you just killed my vibe, so. <laughs> how do you feel if I said uh, all of these headlines have been fake? <laughs> I feel great. I'm pretty sure they were on the radio, though. All of these stories are made up. I figured so. <laughs> I was like... Because I've actually seen videos of this kind of stuff before, and so there's always those people like, yeah, I've heard of them, yeah. It's just like, just be honest if you don't know. It's no big deal. No. It's going down for real.